he's become one of the world's best dramatic tenors. And for BC's own Ben Hepner, sometimes he can't believe his luck. I kind of wake up and think I'm so fortunate to be able to do what I do. To, to, what I love to do is to sing and, and that's what I get to do to make a living. The path to success for Hepner began at an early age. Grew up in a small town and sang with my family. There's nobody has had lessons. We just, we're, we're just kind of genetically predisposed to annoying people by singing. And um, so I, I, I had this feeling I wanted to stay involved with music somehow. And after attending university to become a music teacher, Ben was presented with numerous opportunities to pursue a career in singing, and one after another, he took them. Well, the door was open and then I just kept walking through it. Winning a prestigious talent contest in 1979 gave the young tenor the reassurance he needed to follow his dreams. That was the helpful moment that helped me understand I wanted to make a living. I think I finally admitted it to myself. Since then, Hepner has had a decorated career performing for audiences all over the world, has received numerous honorary doctorates, and in 1999 he was named a member of the Order of Canada, promoted to officer in 2002, and then promoted again to companion the highest level in 2008. It was so fantastic to be in that room. I mean, sitting behind me was Mario Lemieux. He was only getting the officer. And with accolades like that, you think Ben Hepner would be a household name. However, for the most part, that's not the case. Well, you understand I'm an opera singer, and even worse, I'm a, I'm a specialist in German opera, so my neighborhood doesn't really know who I am for the most part. And something you might not expect from a world-renowned tenor is his love for motorbikes. I always wanted to, it was, there's always convenient excuses like not enough money or uh, um, family, but I think part of it had to do with the fact that uh, I was kind of a little afraid of it, but I wanted to do it. So along comes 2002 and, you know, age 46, I can be uh, midlife crisis, it seemed like an occasional time, so I got my license and four years later I picked up a bike. That's my hobby, is, is motorcycling. And in the future when he's not riding his motorbike, Hebner will be performing shows at smaller venues across the country, then Toronto and into Europe. For Go Kootenays in Cranbrook, I'm James Farnham.